Hey everyone and welcome back. So as you can tell, there are a bunch of different components a user can interact with. And maintaining those components is pretty crucial for any project and this is generally a large task. So you wanna set aside a lot of time to do something like this, especially if you're creating something like a design system or if you're just creating a bunch of different variants of inputs because you know inputs can be the most complex UI elements that we deal with. So here are some tips to building some of your very own components within Figma. Step number one, let's learn about master components. So when we create inputs within Figma, remember we need to adhere to our base unit. I'm using eight pixels, so let's create something very simple like a single line input field. So I'm actually just going to create a massive frame where we can play around. We can call this master components. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select another frame. And this is gonna be my input field. It's gonna be 40 pixels in height. It's gonna have a border radius of five pixels. And it's going to have a nice little stroke so that is our stroke. Perfect, I just changed the border radius to two. Okay, and let's give it a fill of white, that's fine. Okay, so this is our input field. What should we call it? There we go, input field. Now that this is done, we're going to use components. Now this page over here, we're gonna build out a couple of different components within it, and it'll serve as a kind of like our source of truth. And by using master components, we can really reuse them across all of our designs. So let's turn this input into a component. So to turn it into a component, you can right click and create a component, or you can use the quick shortcut, which is Option Command K. So now you'll notice it's a component. If I uh, go back and press Command Z, you can also create a component up there. Now it's a component, which is pretty awesome. Let's copy it somewhere. So I'm gonna copy it right here. You can tell that the little icon has changed and that means that this is now an instance of the master component or the parent, whichever you wanna call it. I call it the master and that's what Figma calls it as well. You can copy this component anywhere you want as much as you want, but as soon as we kind of like edit the master component, it reflects in the instance. So this makes it managing inputs so much easier. So let's take a look at how we can update some inputs across our designs by changing something in the master. So this is our master. What we're gonna do here is we are actually going to give it a fill of like a very light gray. And you can tell that it's changing there. There you go, we have a couple of copies and we can just change them all and you can tell that they all adhere to that master component, which is totally awesome because if you're creating an individual input for every single instance that you use it, when you wanna change one, you probably are gonna to wanna to change everything else because you wanna keep everything very consistent. Using components totally helps you do that in such an easy way. So that's how you create components within Figma.